So we're back. If you all watched the last episode, you know that we were looking for an apartment. We yep. kind of like quit the whole finding a house thing because we we're running out of time. Might go seven months pregnant. Yep. And we went to go see an apartment and it was pretty good, right? It was 3LDK, 72 square meters. Kind of out of our budget, but it looked good. I liked it. I loved it. Shimoki is always an awesome place. And guess what, guys? The, how do you say, athlete decided, or not decided, he actually didn't bring the money the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. So the real estate agent called us yeah. and was like, the property is yours if you want it. All you have to do is start filling out the application. And I was ready to sign on that dotted line. And Michael, what did you say? I don't like it. <laughs> no. It's very, very far from the station. It's like eight minutes. No, it was seven. No, seven. it was eight minutes. It was far, and I think it's okay if it's eight minutes away and there's like a whole bunch of stuff going on, but it's not really. And thinking of like, oh, it's gonna be raining and like have a baby and I'll be depressed. You know what's funny? There's a lot, there's, I don't know what to say a lot, but there's several comments that said five minutes that's nothing or like seven minutes come on just take off the take off those heels even, and walk even without a high heel it's oh, i mean like it's just an idea of like walking seven minutes every single day maybe what some people don't understand is when you do live in tokyo in a city like this we don't have cars like basically mm -hmm. the main form of transportation is taking train. the train um, a lot of people don't take the taxi because it's super expensive just to go to like a few stations away it could cost you like 20 30 dollars us so you walk a lot yeah you walk a, a lot a day and if you're walking say eight minutes to the station then you're probably gonna walk another several minutes to, if get you're gonna walk yeah so if you're gonna walk eight minutes to the station mm -hmm. then you're gonna get on the train and then get off at the next stop then you're gonna have to walk again to the next place. Yep. So you already have like, there probably easily 30 minutes of transportation time, if not more, and then coming back. So like all of that adds up and you spend like a good amount of your time on the train if you live far away from the station. And if you live up far away from the city, it's even more so. The most important thing right now is to be as efficient as possible because we don't have a lot of time. I want to make as many videos as possible. I want to do it quickly and efficiently. Um, I and I guess we just need to pay for that to save us some time. And I think, you know, like time is all we have really. Long story short, we didn't get the place or we didn't <laughs> apply sorry. even though I was like super excited. But the good news is uh, we did see some other properties yep. after that. And the first one we saw right after that is called, um, not called, it's in Ikejiri, mm -hmm. which is one station away from Shibuya. It's on Dan Toshisen. Yeah, I think. The line I hate. Yes, the line you hate. But, but it's one station. It's one station away from Shibuya, and it is one minute away from the station. I personally love it. It is. Um, let me just show you. So there's a station exit to the right and there's an apartment just ahead. So this is a 70 square meter 2LDK apartment and is on the 12th floor of the building. Rent is 300,000 yen which is pretty decent for its size and proximity to the station. Has an island style kitchen and a pretty spacious 27 and a half square meter open dining kitchen area. Two small bedrooms, the largest one being 9.7 square meters. But what I really liked about this place is that it had wall to wall sliding glass doors opening up to the south facing view. It's probably like everything we need in an apartment. Yeah, except it's in a location that I don't like. And the train line I don't like. Okay, yeah. so... so I don't um, know. The, uh, the place is good. It's nice, new, clean. But like the biggest thing about this place is that it only had a two-year contract and there was no way to renew. Yeah. So basically... What, you, what you'll usually find in a lot of apartments in Japan is you'll rent the apartment and then every two years you have to renew and you usually have to pay an additional month to renew. So whatever your, you know, your rent is, you'll have to pay a month um, after every two years if you want to continue to stay there. But some places, 
will limit it to five years or three years um, and this one limited it and this it's really rare like you don't see a lot of apartments that will have like limits on the contract I think people are starting to do it because they don't know what the market is going to be like in the next several years because of the Olympics and, and all of that that could be a bubble right now or it can just like shoot straight up and people mm -hmm. are like kind of planning for that right now yeah. and so they want to be able to kick you out and then raise the prices yeah. basically if you have to move out in two years then what you'll find is you'll have to start looking for a place maybe even a year out so after we've moved in there for a year um, even though we're planning to move out and find a house and buy a house if we can't find one we have to start looking for one mm. after a year living there and then pain. maybe find one in the next like six months and then so you will not you might not even end up staying there for like a year and a half mm. so and then we have to move out so it's just it's just like a deal breaker yeah. I think right it was a nice place but we yeah. just don't know what's gonna happen in a couple years like you might just want to stay or like I don't know yeah it's all the quick win situations. Yeah. You never know. So. so then we checked out another property, and this time we went to Nikotama. This is kind of like one of those neighborhoods that is on the come up. A lot of people that are looking to kind of start a family but don't really want to be in like busy Tokyo mm -hmm. but have kind of some money or that want to live kind of like in a trendier place. I wouldn't say trendy. It's like really. Uh, not the They've really. kind of built like a mini city. Yeah. In that area, like yeah. it has yeah. everything. It has everything. It has like a few malls. It has all the chain restaurants. It has like bar area. Yeah, yeah. Location. Yeah. Well, I think it originally was like a nice neighborhood right by the river, and it was like. The people who has money, but who, like you said, who doesn't want to live in the city, yeah. move there. So like, people know that area as like a rich people area. Yeah. And now they built a huge mall, like yeah. really huge open mall, mall, like almost like a US size mall. And then they built another like Tokyo or like Atari or something. I forgot what it was, but like, it's just like a huge shopping entertainment area slash yeah. that like old celebrity no celebrity but like rich people zone yeah. so this is just past the initial mall area on the second floor just ahead you can actually see a movie theater and these are the three tower mansion apartments we looked at six minutes away from the station to clarify these are not really mansions that's just what japanese people call nicer apartments or condos in japan but what separates tower mansions compared to regular mansions in japan is that usually tower mansions include extra facilities like lobby receptionists meeting rooms gyms common areas and even guest rooms you pay a premium but if you move further out from the city like this you can can find them at a slightly better value. So we looked at several tower mansions, but this one here was 68 square meters, 2LDK on the 10th floor and the rent set at 310,000 yen. So roughly the same price as the other apartment but more facilities. Couldn't find any actual images online, but it had a similar window style in the living room area as this one. The only difference was the actual window was facing one of the other towers. As you can see that property was pretty nice. It doesn't have the island kitchen that we always want, but it did have like this kind of like dope all glass living room. There was a building right in front of it. Yeah, there was a building right in front of it. So if you're in the living room, you don't necessarily want to leave your curtains open all the time because there's people could be potentially watching you. The thing about this property, it's in it's on Den and Toshi line and this line is one of the lines that Maiko doesn't like, especially like, right? I, one of the lines I have been hating. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of those lines where it actually is so bad that you can almost sometimes not get on the train. Yeah. It's so bad. Yeah. There you go. So the, the search continues, right? Um, <sighs> tired of like looking at different properties yeah i'm like i've been walking around so much and like every time you go to like each location it's like we walk around the area and like see what's there and like supermarkets is where and like how many minutes it takes from the property to there and you know like we walk a lot yeah so also let us know if this is like too much if you don't want to 
do this apartment hunting or like me yeah. sharing yeah maybe properties. you guys are tired too if you're tired of this just let me know in the comments that you want me to stop we'll move on to, to something else um i know you guys have some questions we'll answer all of those questions in the next video i promise that all said hit that subscribe button and the bell button and i'll catch you guys the next one i said aisle it's we now right so let's do that again we should we should have a new one Hit that subscribe button and the bell button and we'll catch you in the, the next, next one. one.